Hello and welcome to Aisha's Take on the headlines today, 22nd of June 2021. I will start off with Ebu Beago and the fact that uh, it is yet to get a legal backing. It's really, I don't even know what's wrong with the, the Southeast governors. Honestly, they are so, they have really filled, absolutely filled their people. The people have been killed, the people have been massacred. I mean, up till now, they're just going left, right, and said, I don't know whether it's all about personal gain for them, whether some of them are thinking, oh, they might be the next president of uh, Nigeria, and so they will sit down and be playing, uh, 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 how do they, boy, boy, and be playing boy, boy to the center, even though their people are being killed, their people are being decimated, their people are being maltreated, their people are being treated anyhow, as long as maybe they think personally they might be the ones, the next uh, president is going to come from, from the southeast by the major parties, and so they're ready to sell out their people. Otherwise, I don't understand why what, what is happening. Ebu Beagush by now should have legal backing and should be operating uh, with, with, within the region with a legal backing, just like we have Amoteku, with all the hula balu that went on. The Southwest governor stood and insisted on, on, on having on having that. Well, you know, it's, oh gosh, I don't even understand for the kind of people that we, we have uh, in, in office. Then um, there's this report by someone uh oh, oh, oh i forgot to write his name oh my goodness and i'm so poor i've forgotten who says only justice fairness will unite nigeria and i totally totally agree with that it is fairness justice equity rule of law these are the things that are going to unite nigeria the people don't really care about uh religion these is that as it's it's when there's injustice that's when all of these things begin to matter you begin to look at things oh, okay this one okay that why you don't like when one person is favored even in, in your normal family it happens if you have a that's why they say when you have children do not show favoritism just treat them equally even if you, even if you don't love them equally but treat them uh, equally uh, otherwise you will find resentment the the child that is seen as the one that is favored the one that things are always being done for them while the other ones are being neglected they begin you know other uh, will begin to hate uh, that particular child and that's uh, uh, even the biblical uh, this thing and the Quranic version of, of our prophet, uh, uh, you know, uh, Joseph. That's one of the reasons why uh, he was uh, hated by his uh, brothers to the extent where they wanted to kill him and they ended up throwing him in the, in the world. Coming back to uh, 774,000 jobs, I have, even from the day one, I never, ever, oh my goodness, like uh, that particular whole saga. It was, for me, as far as I was concerned, it was actually done by the government to just shut down the voices of the youth. At that particular time, youth were agitating and people were talking and they wanted something out there. So they decided, okay, let's give 1,000 1, jobs uh, to, to every local government and be able to have 774,000 uh, uh, jobs. Meanwhile, these jobs are just uh, for three months where people will be paid 30,000 naira. And right now, most of the partic participants have been crying out that they have not been paid. And we have one of the headlines that uh, the federal government has directed banks to pay uh, participants. So after the three months, what happens? The people go back to being jobless and then... Oh. Ah, <sighs> when you don't have it, you don't have it. You can't think of solution. Basically, that's what we have happening in our uh, government. Then there's a plan tax on airtime. Hmm. As so using your airtime, you'll be playing, you'll be paying tax on it. I mean, they they really want to tax the people to death. Uh, the government, it's it's not being creative. The only creativity in terms of any money happens to be to tax, 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 and tax people, tax, 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 and tax them to, to death. They are not even thinking of reducing their own expenses. By now, you would have thought that government would actually be reducing its own expenses. Government, is so, it spent so much. Go to Abuja, for example. If you see cars, 2021 models, uh, the latest cars, the latest Jeeps, the latest, you know, Prados and all of that, they all have government plate numbers. You see the extravagance, you see our budget, you even see the extravagance in that in those budgets. The salaries, the humongous salaries being paid uh, to, to, to members of the National Assembly and, and all of that, and to our, to our politicians, to public servants. It's so annoying in a country where people are, be, are able to barely feed, where we have become the poverty capital of the world, yet we are not doing anything to reduce uh, government uh, spendings and government ex ex expenses. 
a lot of parastatals that aren't supposed to be there, a lot of parastatals that should be merged as department. For example, you have the, the other one that is the PPPR something, something, something that its business is just to set, fix the price of petroleum. That it's a parastatal on its own. We're supposed to be, not. it's not even supposed to be a department, just somebody's job description just being there. But then here we have, here we are spending so much uh, money on that. APC orders 30 million bunches of brooms for new members in Cross River State. What's the population of Cross River State? How many new members are coming? They have never heard that Cross River State at any time had uh, 3 million uh, people who voted. So even if you say the, how is even the number of all the eligible voters? Talk less of APC members, new members, 3 million brooms. So if this broom sells at 50, 50 Naira, that's 150 million, right? Naira, spent on, if it sells at 100, 100 Naira, that would be how much? 300 million Naira to buy brooms for new members. Well, somebody might say that, okay, it's a party that is buying this, it's none of our business. But I think, is that not the party that the governor recently went over uh, to change to APC? What was the name of this? Uh, Ayade. Is that not where Governor Ben Ayade, right, had gone to? And most times we know that. Is it really the party's money that is going to be spent, or the, or the people's money? It's really, and then this is a country where they are they, they're supposedly trying to tax people to be able to pay off the, the to take care of the poverty that we have. And yet, they are, this extravagant spending of the people's money, it, it's all they were. They might call the past party's money officially. We'll see how it goes. But it's really sad that this, this, even if it's party's money, I mean, this is supposed to be a political party that is thinking of coming to power, right? Already in power there since uh, the governor has defected to that party. And uh, if this is how they are behaving with their party monies, then how are they behaving with the state monies? Party money in court anyway. Insecurity grants CBM borrowers farmer farmers says loan repayment difficult. Well, I don't blame the farmers. Uh, first of all, those loans weren't even given to real farmers. Only few got them. We had more of political farmers, people who used whatever influences uh, to get those money. Many farmers did not get them. But then also the ones that have gotten them for years, they haven't been paid. And how do you expect them to pay when the, the business they were supposed to do? Government was not able to secure them for them to be able to run the business, to be on the farms. Our bandits have taken over farms for years. We kept talking about that. But we were called uh, fake news merchants, and the government refused to do uh, the needful. Today, every one of us is feeling the, uh, the, the heat of it, the price, uh, the pricing of, uh, of food in the market and all of that. And sadly, it's going to get worse because we aren't even doing anything to, to safeguard it. The, the food basket states of the nation, of Nigeria, are being targeted, are, being, are the ones that the bandits are really working, you know, doing their utmost to, 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 to prevent farmers from being on the farm. And nobody is looking at it. That could be a system. Is that a systematic attack on Nigeria? Food security is one of the greatest uh, uh, form of security. And when there's no food security... Mm -mm -mm. It's really it's, it's sad. Uh, okay. Buhari OK's 18 billion takeoff grant for four specialized universities. I think what, one of the things, so when we think about every education, every time it's all about building, building, building new life. Absolutely, we need more and more universities and all of that. But I think we need to work on the educational system as a whole. The curriculum right now, the curriculum is not being revamped. And I think for me, it's not just to have universities out there, mushroom universities, and just build them. I just who bring out half-baked gra graduates who at the end of the day are not useful to themselves, neither to the society. And I've say, I think I said this like 10 years ago, and I'll keep repeating it. Time will come when it is only the Nigerian government that will be hiring people from the uh, government uh, university, sadly, because of the quality of the graduates that are being uh, churned out. And th these are things that should worry uh, us uh, a lot. But in, in the meantime, we have this specialized university. Hopefully, uh, they, they do the needful. And there are so many things. Nigeria needs to upgrade uh, its, its curriculum to reflect the needs, the, the, the needs of the 21st century and not the needs of the 18th uh, century 
as we have had. 136 uh, of the uh, FGC uh, Yaori are still in captivity and uh, they are, the security agents have been charged to, to ensure that they bring them out. And, but the thing that pains me the most, did you see those, 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 re, those riffraffs that were holding, standing and holding uh, uh, their AK-47, their machinery with all draped in all bullets where they show the, their picture with the abductor. I'm like, really? These are the boys that are holding Nigeria to ransom this? this, this. <sighs> I do. It's so annoying. So annoying. Like these people with the right strategy, put our soldiers on them. They will deal with them. And here we are. Oh yeah, I'm being interrupted here. So hold on a bit. Click. No, I'm no, I'm recording right now. Good morning, love you. Oh. Okay, so I'm not going to edit this anyway. So you get to see that that was my husband coming in. I'm actually using his phone to do data. Ah, okay, so so you just see the the, the young uh, boys that were there just holding this guns and draped in bullets and you're wondering these are the people that our nigerian military with the kind of right kind of leadership oh oh that's that's so nice that door is usually very makes so much loud noise when you call and i've always said to him oh you know when you're closing it it distracts me and they just close it gently that's not the, oh that's the reason why i love my husband so much Okay, back to what we're, what we're talking about. With the right kind of leadership, uh, the Nigerian military would be able to go after those people and actually win the war. But it seems as if there's no political will uh, to, to defeat uh, the uh, terrorism that we have here. And probably it's, it's like a conduit pipe for a lot of uh, people to be able to siphon money away. Also, the next thing, of course... Uh, APC may face uh, challenges after Buhari exit. Even Nigeria is facing challenges after Buhari is exit. People are arrested. A uh, Twitter ban, a uh, rep begins probe uh, today. House of Rep, they have set up this thing since it's now that they are beginning a uh, 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 probe. And then, of course, uh, the ECOWAS court is going to hear uh, today. It's, it's going to have a hearing on the on the Twitter ban because there are Nigerians who have taken the case to ECOWAS court. And finally, I'll round up with court source the release of 18 year old girl uh, who was arrested during the SARS uh, uh, protest and who has given birth in prison. The question I think everyone should be asking, was she pregnant before she went to prison or was she impregnated while in prison? She was 17 when she was arrested and uh, efforts to bring her out has, has really uh, failed. There are so many people who have been arrested. Sometimes you don't get to hear of, 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 of all, all of these people and then sometimes the government is holding on to them. It's really sad and heinous what the Nigerian government is doing. So thank you for listening. Thank you to stay till the end and hopefully tomorrow we have another take. I just take on the headlines.